Olá pessoal, tudo bem? Aqui é o Marcos e eu estou começando esse vídeo em português. Eu recebi uma sugestão de alguns amigos, eles me perguntaram Marcos, por que você não começa seus vídeos falando em português para tentar engajar mais pessoas? E para que as pessoas possam entender o que você está falando, ok? Então eu imaginei realmente tentar, eu estou fazendo aqui uma tentativa de começar os meus vídeos falando um pouco em português, ok? Então eu vou mostrar o assunto que eu vou falar agora. É, eu tenho aqui alguns objetos eu quero falar um pouco sobre religião. Eu vou mostrar um livro aqui, é um livro kardecista, o um livro dos espíritos de Allan Kardec, e sim, eu já fui no espiritismo. Eu tenho aqui outro objeto que é uma estátua do Buda, e sim, eu já fui no budismo também. Eu tenho aqui mais um objeto que eu quero mostrar pra vocês, isso aqui é tipo uma herança de família. Eu tenho aqui a Sutra Sagrada da Seite Onoye. E sim, eu já fui na Seite Onoye também, ok? Eu ia com os meus pais e eu gostava muito disso. So, então, eu falei sou aqui em inglês. Então, eu tenho essa, essa questão religiosa, mas não como algo espiritual, algo é, sagrado, mas sim algo como se fosse uma pesquisa, tá bom? Deu um minuto e agora eu vou trocar e vou começar a falar inglês. Hi guys, this is Marcus and perhaps you know me, perhaps you don't know me because perhaps this video is the first one that you are watching over there. My name is Marcus and I started this video uh, showing some things that I have at home. This video will be about uh, religion. I will talk about some things that I, I knew and I know about religion and I really want to share it with you, okay? So I will show again because I show it talking in Portuguese, but right now I'm going to show you and talk in English about things that I showed before, okay? Let me take the first one. I have here, right now on my hand, an old book. It was written in Portuguese, but I will try to translate that. Uh, the guy that wrote that, he was named Alan Kardec, and the book is named The Book of the Spirits. And yes, I already went to a spiritual place. I went to the spiritism some time ago. And I want to talk about that. Why was the reason that I went to the spiritism? Perhaps in, let me try to, to remember the exact year that I went there. It was in 2004, I think so, 2004, yeah. And my mom passed away. She died in this year. And I wasn't leading well with that. I couldn't accept that. It's complicated to talk about. It was in the past, but right now I could lead better with that, okay? And as I was saying, my mom, she passed away and I went to a lot of different places to try find some answer to comfort myself, to understand the plan of the God, okay? So I went to the Catholic church, I went to the Protestant church, I went to Buddhism, I went to African religions as well, spiritism from Africa. Uh, Here in Brazil, we call it Umbanda and Candomblé, okay? I went to more places, but in Spiritism of Allan Kardec, I could calm down, okay? And I understood with a different way about life, about death, and so forth. And I finally could accept that, that she was gone. And the life is like that. I can't hold that, okay? I accepted that. So, Spiritism helped me to understand better the life. I have here the second thing that I want to show, I want to share with you guys. I have a statue here of Buddha. So, other thing in my life. To be honest, I met the Buddhism much more time before. Before my mom passed away. I met Buddhism because in my older neighborhood, the place that I was growing up, I was growing up, the place that I grew up actually, um, some friends of my family, they used to go to the Buddhism and once they had a kind of reunion at home and my family was invited to go there and I went together, okay, and they could meet the religion, the proposal, okay, the things that they, they, does, they do in Buddhism and I really appreciate that. After I, I read some books, I read some uh, sacred books as well about Buddhism and I really liked the story. I'm talking about a story, 
not the religious context, but if I would think about story, it's a pretty good thing, okay? Someday, in the future, I may talk better about that, explain the details that I understood and that I know, okay? And finally, I'm going to show you other object, uh, other book, okay? Another book. I have it here on my hand. It came from my mom. So I have something here really special, okay? My mom's hand uh, script, hand draw, hand script. I think that it's a better word, okay? It's something really special that I take care, okay? Because as I told you, my mom passed away, so and I have some objects to remember her sometimes, okay? And I'm going to show you. It's Japanese. I just can't understand it at all, <laughs> but that's fine. And I will show the the occidental um, letters, okay? It's a kind of religion. I think that I I can't call it a real religion, okay? It's a style of life, a way of life, okay? You have some practices, some methods, you know, you need to pray, okay? But it's quite good, it's pretty similar of Buddhism. And going back to talk about religion in general, I'm generally speaking about religion. Uh, nowadays, I'm not a religious person anymore, but I really respect everybody. If you are Catholic, Protestant, spirit, spiritual, okay, that's fine to me, okay? The most important thing in my personal point of view is you need to respect the other one. You need to help the other one, people that actually need to have some help. This video is finished. I'm Marcus. If you know me, that's fine. If you don't know me, because perhaps you don't know me, perhaps this video is the first one, video that you are watching right now. My name is Marcus. I'm a Brazilian guy trying to find out a way to improve the English as a second language. I hope to see you in the future, guys, and bye-bye. Bye-bye.